As you can see, we have a lot of ingredients, but uh, most important to put into a tire is uh, the natural compound that we have here. So this is made out of uh, latex uh -huh. coming from a tree and then batched out and smoked. So you can... South America. Yes, that's more or less maybe, maybe yes. <laughs> and you can smell, so it's a very uh, typical smelling because it has been smoked to prevent bacteria and microbes to go inside. So um, we have natural tires, um, no polymers, and we have also synthetic polymers, this one. So you can see it's um, quite different. It's coming from crude oil, and there's a whole process to come to this product. Could also be another color. That's one type, so we have a lot of types of uh, polymers uh, synthetic polymers, but this one is white. Mm -hmm. Then you have to imagine it's um, like spaghetti. So the polymer strains and we have to put something in between. And one of these materials to put in between is a filler, it's a carbon black filler. So I would guess you should not touch this one because it is also coming from crude oil and uh, there is also a process to get this. So have to burn this oil and uh, the end product is the carbon black that we put into on our mix. Another filler and uh, today is uh, more and more important that the silica. So silica is in fact a sand. It's coming from sand and also there's a whole uh, process to come to the final product. The final product is uh, very volatile. You can feel it. The windows, your glasses are out of silica and we put it into our tires as filler. So we have another process Goody has developed that's to um, have uh, out of the rice ash uh, the silica produced. So that's um, less um, energy consuming. Mm -hmm. But uh, we need a lot of rice to have uh, all the silica that we need <laughs> into our tires. <laughs> so a last and uh, third filler, it's a bio filler. So this one is coming from Stark and a lot of other ingredients so that we have to put into our tires. So we mix uh, that together and we have special machines to do it and out of these machines finally come um, a batch of compound. Here we have now prepared a small sample and you can see this sample. So still imagine these spaghetti with now filler in between, but that's all. So if you pull on it, you can see like spaghetti, you can pull it apart and break it. Mm -hmm. Now, a very important ingredient that we have to put into our tire, that's the sulfur. So sulfur is something that Mr. Goodyear found many years ago. And now again, imagine your spaghetti with the fillers. You put the sulfur inside, you put pressure and heat, and it is like meshed. And then we have a final structure that we can use at a final in our tires. So now try again. Okay. So that's the whole magic of producing compound, vulcanizing and tire is ready. So this is a small one. We have other mixtures for summer tires than for winter tires. We have uh, also, like uh, these one, vaccines to protect your tire against uh, ozone, against sunlight, uh, against everything which is on the road. So otherwise your tire would be damaged uh, rather fast. We have uh, accelerators, we have retarders and uh, also traction resins. Once the compound is um, ready, so before vulcanizing for sure, because vulcanizing the tire, that's uh, the last step that we do before selling. Um, we have in our tire, we have a lot of different uh, layers. So here you can see what we call um, a step down, a step down. So first you see this, you see the next step, next step and so on. And um, now we have to produce these uh, different samples in a tire. For instance, uh, the bead, which is on the rim. Huh? So that's the wire of the bead, you can see here. This is steel? 
that is steel, yeah. And we have to put some compound around. So that's now the, a very hard compound which fixes inside here. Mm -hmm. Then you have, at the beginning, you have a yarn, so very thin yeah. sample. Then you twist this and you get a cord. This is like in the textile industry. Exactly. Then we put this together and so here on this sample, the compounds that we just have produced would not stick, therefore we put something special on it so that we have adherence. And then you can refine this in the tire, for instance. And you have exactly the same thing with your wire cable. So you have wire cable and you put one besides the other, a lot of these cables, put again the compounds that we have just produced and put it into a tire and you can find it here. So if I understand correctly, this, uh, uh, these are different layers yes. of this. So this is one layer and then the next one. And yes, so this is for instance one layer which is uh, like this one. Here we have also a layer out of textile, but these are layers out of steel. In wires. Yeah. Okay. And if in modern tires, tires with sensors, where, where do these sensors fit? Normally the sensor is uh, fixed in the middle of the ah, so it's tire. not in the, in the rubber? Uh, no, it's fixed picture. inside. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And also here and is a... It's, it's, it's good inside, yes. And here, for instance, you have um, this part replaces your tube that you have many, many years ago. You had still tubes in the tire, but now this compound is a special compound which is uh, um, replacing the tube inside. So here the air does not pass through. So here you can just see a thread. And how much is too much? <laughs> <laughs> is it possible to break? Uh, normally not, no, it should not work. But uh, this, for instance, that's a gimmick. You see, you buy new tire. Mm -hmm. You have bought a winter tire, and then uh, it goes down and down, and at the end, it's a summer tire.